Hi, welcome to Med Madness. This is Dr. Ram here. We are going to discuss about the mechanics of breathing. So in my picture here, I have represented chest wall here. This is the diaphragm and this is the pleural space where pleural fluid is filled. And this is the lungs or say the alveoli or take it like an airway. Okay. So before going into session, I want to make sure two very basic important point. What is the relationship between volume and the pressure? It is an inverse relation. You are right. So when there is increase in volume, there is decrease in pressure and vice versa. Okay. Number two, in the lung chest wall system, you have positive pressure and a negative pressure. The positive pressure is always a collapsing pressure. A collapsing force inside the lung because of its elasticity. This is a positive pressure. But our lungs is not collapsed. Why? One of the important reason is we have negative pressure in the pleural space. So the negative pressure in the pleural space is very important to keep the lungs open. So imagine the pleural fluid like a glue that sticks your chest wall and the lungs. So this pleural fluid pulls the chest wall in. It pulls the chest wall in and pulls the lungs out. Thus, the negative pressure is very important to keep the lungs open. Okay, I hope you get this two point. And now, we'll discuss inspiration and expiration process. So, throughout the day, the diaphragm muscle, so this is the diaphragm muscle, it contracts, then relaxes, contracts, then relaxes, contracts, then relaxes. Like this, it happens throughout the day. So, this is the resting state of a lung. See the diaphragm here. It is relaxed, dome shaped. See the airway pressure? It is zero, that is equal to the atmospheric pressure. See the pressure inside the pleural cavity? It is negative, negative five. When the depolarization waves passes through the diaphragm muscle, it contracts. So it contracts and becomes flat. So in this picture, there is increased volume increased volume of a chest so there is decrease in the pressure inside a chest cavity so the intraalveolar pressure becomes minus 1 and the intrapleural pressure becomes minus 7.5 so there is a pressure gradient developed between the atmosphere and the alveoli so air moves from zero that is a higher pressure area to a lower pressure area into the alveoli and the lungs expand air moves in until the intraalveolar pressure becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure so when the alveolar pressure becomes zero the air movement stops now the lung is at new resting volume okay see this graph so the lung volume increases during inspiration and reaches about 500 ml look at the intraalveolar pressure here so it is zero at rest when the volume of a chest cavity increases, it is about minus 1 at the maximum. Air starts moving into the lungs and equalizes with the atmospheric pressure at the end of inspiration. Look at the intrapleural pressure. At rest, it is minus 5. At the end of inspiration, it decreases to minus 1.5. Okay, now the diaphragm relaxes. Uh, that is it becomes dome shaped as well as the intercostal muscles but note the diaphragm is the most important muscle for inspiration expiration process so when the diaphragm relaxes the volume of a chest cavity drops what happens the pressure increases good so the intraalveolar pressure becomes plus one and the intrapleural pressure becomes minus five so the intraalveolar pressure is at higher pressure than the atmosphere so the air moves out the air moves out until the intraalveolar pressure becomes zero now the lung is at rest the intraalveolar pressure is zero and the intraalveolar pressure becomes minus five look at the graph here so at expiration the lung volume decreases look at the intraalveolar pressure here so the chest volume decreases so that the intraalveolar pressure reaches maximum of plus 1. Air moves out to get equalized with the atmospheric pressure of 0 at the end of expiration. What happens to intraalveolar pressure? At the end of expiration, it becomes minus 5. 
So what is the take home point? When there is increase in the volume, decrease in the pressure, air moves in. When there is decrease in the volume, there is increase in the pressure, air moves out. Very simple. I think it's good to discuss pneumothorax here. Pneumo means air, air in the thorax. So when you have a chest wall injury like this, so you know that the atmospheric pressure is zero and inside the pleural cavity is negative. So air moves from atmosphere into the pleural cavity until the pleural cavity pressure becomes zero. You already know that this negative pressure keeps the lungs open. What happens if this negative pressure is abolished? The lung collapses. This is pneumothorax. I hope you really enjoyed the session. I have given my drawings in the Instagram and Facebook ID. Link in the description box below. Check it out. Thank you. See you with more interesting videos.